Just in time for the holidays, a North Carolina family will have a little more Christmas cheer after their premature baby finally comes home for the holidays. At 17 months, it's not his first Christmas, but it's their first together at home after he spent months in the NICU. Fox's Madison Scarpino has more on this Christmas miracle. Philip Gaines finally went home last week after spending 17 months in UNC Health's neonatal ICU. Now that's the longest stay ever by a premature baby there. Philip's mom Georgiana says although he spent his entire life in the hospital, he's doing great and they can't wait to spend the holidays at home. The fact that we are coming home at Christmas and um, we've almost found our light. Um, is just incredible. And then just being surrounded by family and like the comfort of home, we've just become so grateful for the little things like, you know, letting him look at the ornaments on the tree or, um, you know, rolling around in his in his Christmas jammies. Philip had a whole celebration for his discharge from UNC Children's. The gains are from the city of Dunn and people line the streets to welcome him home. Philip has chronic lung disease, and from being sedated to paralyzed, Georgiana tells us those 17 months in the NICU were extremely difficult for the family, but they always had hope. Georgiana says Philip is a full blown toddler. He's been playing and laughing at home this past week, doing good with pediatrician appointments, and Georgiana credits the doctors and nurses who took care of Philip. He defied so many odds, and then in the, over the course of the last few months, as we were getting ready for him to go home, um, it's just been, been so exciting. And before Christmas, that was really Really what we all wanted for them was to have that time with him at home. Georgiana says that while Philip is ventilator and oxygen dependent right now, his prognosis is hopeful. In Atlanta, Madison Scarpino, Fox 